The science is clear. The ocean is taking the heat from climate change, absorbing 90% of the heat and up to a third of the carbon dioxide over the decades. As a result, the ocean is getting warmer, more acidic, less productive, and less predictable. Rapid global decarbonization is the single most important thing that can be done to protect the ocean and communities and livelihoods that depend on its health. Rapid global decarbonization. Near-term and mid-century ambition are essential to limit warming to 1.5 degrees centigrade. Countries must rapidly and continually increase their climate ambition and decrease emissions. So today, we are flipping the script on the ocean from victim to solution. The ocean is a hero in this story, a potential hero. We now know that the ocean is not too big to fail, nor is it too big to fix. We are beginning to understand the myriad and fundamental ways in which the ocean is so central to our future that it is too big to ignore. Make no mistake, when it comes to effectively tackling climate change, the ocean is too big to ignore. As Special Envoy Kerry and many others have noted, our ocean and climate are intimately connected and interdependent. We are breaking down the silos between climate action and ocean action in favor of ocean-based solutions to climate change.